What's going on, homies? Welcome to my first episode of City Skylines. Now, City Skylines came out like maybe 2015, 2016. It's basically like SimCity. If you don't know what that is, um, you basically just build a city. And some people might think that's dumb as shit. But personally, I like all this kind of building cities and, I don't know, being creative. Because, I mean, I, I did like Minecraft. Uh, it's just because you, you have so much creative you could be very creative in that game so this game you can be the same exact way and also on planet coaster i kind of want that game too i just probably won't buy it because there's other games that i have in mind especially with like red dead redemption coming out in a few more months unless they delay it again which they always do but that's besides the point we're actually gonna hop into a new game now i played this for the last week or so and i have i've I played on foggy hills, I think. So, oh, maybe it was Grand River. Um, so we're gonna choose something. All these, a lot of these look like the same. Like it kind of splits in the middle. I might not hate this one. It might not be too bad. Or, ooh, I might. Ooh, do I want to? Look at them all. Or. That one's more like a beachy sort of vibe. Sandy Beach is a be more beachy vibe. Diamond Coast. Flaming Gorge. These are all my extra ones, and I would really hate to build upon mountains. These are like Chicago terrain. Ner one that Nerd Cubed actually did. This is one that I was like, hey, I kind of want to like put it industrial on one island, and then like. That looks very hilly. 45%. Suitable area for building. I'm kind of curious what. Sixty-two percent. Um, I think I'm gonna either go with two rivers. I'm gonna go with two rivers because I could put like a dam somewhere in here when we do unlock it. Now, what are we gonna name this? We're gonna name this a Drac Bill. That's what we're naming it. We got. So we have decent oil resources, decent ore services. Farming resources and forestry resources, but I have I actually do have a few mods in here So one of the mods is it gives me 150k instead of 70 or 75k right off the bat because I really do suck at like at the beginning of Managing my money correctly and I end up using it all and going into debt and having to buy um, having to buy loan or not loan not buy but get loans and then it just goes all downhill from there. So I have that. And then I have like some other stuff like tree brushes, um, traffic lights. I can put walkways in for pedestrians. What else did I do? I have some like modded buildings. Like I have the Willis Tower from Chicago in here. So I could put that down. Now this is this could really be a long series. I mean, I've seen people have these series go for on like for 80 episodes. It kind of depends. I, oh, I also have a mod which makes it so I, instead of buying only nine areas or nine squares, you could buy all 25, which means that the series could go on a lot, lot longer. And I think the main goal, and it's a very, very long and hard goal. I don't even know if it's possible, but to get like a million people in our city. Now, I think the highest milestone is like nine is a hundred K. Maybe it's like a hundred K and you've reached that top milestone. So we're trying to do 10 more than that, which is going to be absolutely like a very big challenge. But that, I mean, I don't care if this takes months or hours or days or minutes. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I forgot there's this mod also, and I don't have it downloaded where it makes um the maps loading faster because i'm pretty sure how it loads in it for instance if it loads in like one tree or like a little patch of trees it it'll load it like patch by patch instead of doing like all the trees at once once okay so this is what we have to play with at our first little tile now let's see what we actually have for the full thing i'm gonna pause for right now probably go all the way over here okay i don't mind this Gotta figure out where the roads are actually, or where the is actually going. Got a little dock here. We built some roads, so we're gonna stick with. I'm gonna. I've seen people do this, and it's very, um, very nice. But you cannot use it. You cannot use roundabouts yet. So there, there goes that. I was actually gonna put it in a roundabout. So this is gonna be nothing too serious. I also suck with roads. Um, I have a tendency to do sort of. 
grid-like roads, if you know what I mean. I don't know if you know what I mean. But we're gonna do that to start off. And... This isn't gonna... I might make these straight roads then. After this... I watch our money too, because I, even we do have... Even, like, we do have a... Uh, 147k I don't want to go through all that so we everybody want now they all want residential the demand is right here by the way this is the city name let's go through this so basically you click this to see the overhead map this is like shows you your date and I can click this to go fast which I don't want to this is city information which I did not know this here nobody's in here city name uh, this is demand, so very high demand for residential uh, commercials right here, and this is industry. Your money, this is your population, and then this is all your stuff that you can insert, and then if you want to get rid of stuff, you can do all that. This Chicago Underground Building. Oh, okay. Okay, I was about to say, I was like, I don't know how to get my hut back. So, I'm going to stay with that for right now, and then I'm... Like I said, I was a big fan of grid type of roads, but I don't like that. It just looks not too, not too nice for me. So we're gonna start off with something like this, and then bring it around here, and then we can kind of like stem off of this whenever we need to. We do have a little bit of rocky terrain here. We want to figure out which way the river is actually going. Going this way. Going like this way the whole time, so I want to. Another thing is actually you want to. So these are basically your things that. This thing I can have it like right here, which it isn't even in the water. So I'm not want it to be somewhat, real, somewhat realistic. I'm gonna put two in, which is a big waste of money, but I want to make sure my people have water. And then you kind of just do it like this, and I feel like once I. I click play again that my money is just gonna completely plummet then after you do that you do need a sewage system and you don't want to put the sewage system like right here because then it puts all the poopy water out and then this picks it up and it gives it to the civilians and it makes them sick so it's not too good and you just connect it to one of these pipes already at 123k but once we like start getting the monthly fees and everything now I'm a big fan of the coal power plants because the wind turb the wind turbines still they have like an upkeep of eighty dollars a week which that's not a lot and it also doesn't cost a lot but it barely puts out any energy so as you can see right um, I, I, there's no reason to even point it says it gives out eight or zero to eight megawatts so we want to but the silk coal power plant is more a week and it costs more but it does do uh 40 megawatts of energy which is really really good but the only problem with that is it's kind of like it makes the ground kind of ugly so i'm actually gonna do a dirt road here and then this is where i'm gonna like i don't know i might do like off here and this is like when we have to wor start worrying about trash and everything i'm gonna put like that stuff out here see like the red circle around it that's like the noise pollution so any house that's like inside that circle that'll be like noise pollution and actually let me move my webcam because that's probably gonna be an issue right there because you can see kind of stuff there um anybody in that noise pollution can kind of or anybody in that range can hear it so then after that you kind of have to bring it over here energy across um i'm just gonna leave it probably shouldn't no i'm gonna let people go first, kind of build in first before we actually stretch out the power now this is where you can this is where you put in the certain stuff. So now I went to the freaking color palette or whatever. Now, whenever I do this, I can make this. So this, anybody that wants to live in my city has to live here. This is the residential zone. And this is commercial, like your shops and everything. And then this is industry, like your factories. And the bad part is the industry makes the ground look purple and they get sick often. And it's not, it's not my favorite section, but I, I do have a mod that makes it so the ground doesn't get purple, but it still gets purple, so I don't know. So I'm gonna add some residential zones i'm not a big fan of the brush so i'm just gonna do the fill in here and then probably over here because they're gonna be asking soon for 
some type of commercial. I'm gonna put this here. And when they do ask for industry, I'm gonna kind of like squeeze it in right over here. <laughs> no problem doing so either. And I don't like having my industry right next to my residential. That's just kind of like a pet, not really a pet peeve of mine, but I don't like it very much. And this is probably where I'm gonna stop this here. Probably stretch this. Technically, this isn't close to me. This isn't close to me. It's a different road. It's fine. <laughs> now they're basically gonna have to like, if they want to get on, get out, they're gonna have to go all the way around. I believe. So I, I don't know how I like that. We'll see how it works. I don't, I don't think it will be too bad. And I hate working with taxes and but I don't understand this the budget stuff because when I lower it, it does shit that I don't like and when I raise it it doesn't do it does shit I don't like this is the loans right here this taxes usually you could raise it up one uh, from 9% to 10% and sometimes 11 I don't like to raise it up to 10% right away it's usually when I'm like lacking money so let's kind of watch where people move in so now I have the time or like the thing so now I'm losing money which is bad <laughs> I'm gonna put that right there so they can get their money and stuff. So now I'm losing money really, really bad. That's not good to be 1,400 or 400 in the little bottom. So now we gotta have people start coming in and have them. I'm getting like invites in the middle of the video, so. I may have jumped, the, jumped a little bit too, too fast right away. Now they they do want more residential, so I'm gonna have to add some more. Or I'm not. I'm gonna go out of debt real quick or go out of run out of money. I kind of want to do it like this way, and I don't want to destroy that lovely person's home. But we're gonna actually gonna use the. So this is like something where you stretch it out. Anything in there goes green. That's what I'm gonna do for that. The more money we bring in, the more uh, the economy we have. Better for us better for our economy that's more commercial here it's not much more but it's still economy nonetheless the people start building out here when they do have water for the most part okay so that's going down over time as we have people coming in i'm sure we got our industry could build in whatever they want there's a little bit of demand for everything a residential doesn't need anymore now we're gonna have to kind of wait and let our city grow and all that fun stuff. I'm gonna actually turn off the music just just in case. I doubt it's copy copywritten music, whatever. But I don't think. Okay, so wait, what did I just see right there? Some ready. Um, yeah, see right there, Gold FM. I don't know what that is, but copywritten. We oh. Um, do not have to. Oh, so then that's another problem. You kind of have to think of this. You have to like think about. Oh, I need to get power out to the area over here too, and this area, Tom the end. That's all I'm gonna do. That's a lot of money. All right, calm down. Don't get too mad, bro. So I'm gonna probably populate this with trees a lot. Now I like how this is going so far. So as you can see. Maybe you can't see. It's not too bad right now. I thought I saw it like kind of get shady. But if you put industry downtown, like the smog that grows around the city is kind of disgusting. It, it's not very nice. You all have water. You should be good. Mm. Well, this is basically like the first episode. See, there's a, that, what confuses me is that there's a demand for residential, but you have all of this you can move into. So I don't know what you're holding back on. We might be running out of space for we are okay. So this is the milestone the, the milestones I was talking about so like the highest is one or a hundred thousand I believe so we just reached 420 which is absolutely beautiful and this is where it gets kind of annoying because now you have to start worrying about garbage and Elementary schools and uh, medical clinics and that's when you have to start spending some more money Even though you do not have it at the time and I can also I also have my loans and my taxes and I will talk more about everything else while we are inserting these certain things. We are good on water. I'm going to actually keep it on slow speed to keep things going. So this is what I was talking about, garbage. So the garbage thing, people don't like that purple circle is basically just AIDS. It's, it's just 
terrible. It's straight up garbage, if you know what I mean. But we're going to stretch this out here, which we really don't need to. We can just kind of, how about this? Let's do this. That's a, that was actually a good angle. I wanted right there. So now we can put kind of all the rest of the, we can put the garbage out here. And that green basically represents everywhere it can reach. So these garbage guys can come all the way over here and reach all of this. And that kind of goes with the same with the, the um, hospitals and stuff. So everything that's green can reach that. We kind of we want hospitals in like the medical area. Don't want to destroy anybody's house, but it may be imminent. Im imminent. So here's the problem: the smaller hospital you have, the less area it kind of covers. Kind of put it. I'm gonna. Okay, I can kind of fit it right there. Get some good amount of people, which is good. And school. So now we have the hospitals and ambulances. Ambulances can be sent out. And it's kind of like the same thing. It's the same exact thing for the schools. And there are three different levels of schools. And I'm... A lot. I'm actually going to... I'm going to destroy someone's house just so we can have a little side road here kind of sad but it, it's fine now this is where the elementary school is going to go and you, there's also high schools and colleges and at one point if you do not have like elementary schools and high schools and colleges like basically blocking everyone or that oh, has a great area like it's not all green that's when these guys are going to be saying we don't have enough workers so you, that basically means add more schools or at least that's what i think <laughs> that's my um my my science behind it i believe that's why i believe that's why that kind of happens i'm just gonna build some more residential areas and then you know days to come i will kind of maybe i don't know i don't think i'm gonna build off of this but i might build off of this so i'm gonna leave this clear i'll build that road right now just to be safe it means more traffic but oh well Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the brush. I'm sorry you have to hear my clicking, but I'm not a fan of the brush. Speed this up a little bit. Make sure everybody has water. That's crucial. Don't want somebody being thirsty today. These guys are barely skimming in the water. But like, look how pretty, like, pretty cool this this game is. So cool. But once you actually get to like the skyscrapers and stuff, it looks pretty cool. You can also change the names. So this is gonna be like racks, rack drive. That's what that's gonna be. Usually, like drives are like the little off roads, which I probably should have like. Probably would have been better if this was like Main Street or something. Uh, commercial. You have all this area you can build, and that's all I was saying. I'm like, you can build right there. You have a little bit of demand. Build right there. Uh, people are already moving in over here, and as you can see, we are gaining money right here. So that's a good A plus. So far, we're good. And so as you can see, I probably, if I did have only 75k, I would have budgeted, budgeted, so would have budgeted better. So because I, I spent, I think I spent around 80k so far, 70 to 80k. So I might have ran out, might have not. I, I don't know. I'm gonna destroy this so we don't have to destroy any businesses. I'm gonna, and I'm trying to build out here. Nope. Okay, I meant to like cancel that, but I don't know why. I thought I, I, thought I wanted to keep bring this out here. We could probably like connect the street right here, but at this early in the game, again, I don't want to break any houses. That's not good. And these people don't like me building roads, so they just decided, decided to dip. So that's all them. We need more residential. Crab, dude. So good. We're getting more people, but knowing that we're gonna have to keep adding residential. I'm gonna actually use the brush. See, so this is the brush I was talking about. Pretty. Oh, worthy village. So don't worry. So this means right here we could buy a new area, so like a new square. 
this is district so i can i'll show you that in just a second policies i'll show i'll show you all this fire department works the same way as like the medical field and the um the garbage disposal it has like green areas or whatever and it's prevent fires and prevent bad guys and I'll, I'll show you all this now this is actually a building that i downloaded and these two are actual buildings and now monuments as you level up you can get like certain monuments and as you do certain things you can get certain monuments so now these are these are loans i can take right now that i can bump my taxes up but i don't want to but also now i could say um i want you to use that people are only allowed to use this much of my power which means or like the electricity so then what happens there is they use that on like they use less energy so i don't have to have that many like coal plants or whatever but then it also means i have to pay more so for water it's just water works the same way smoke detector so reduced risk of fire but i had to sp uh, spend more money to keep it up that's how it goes for all of these and we haven't unlocked anything here um we do have to add a police department so i'm gonna kind of keep that uh, i'm gonna keep that the i'm gonna keep it in the neighborhood put it right here which destroys the house but it's fine it makes people happy you just can't make everybody happy i'm just saying i'm gonna kind of go right here i'm gonna destroy another house because we can't make everybody happy and people are more immune to getting in fires over here because they're a whole bunch of trees so this in the residential kind of deal residential vibe oh and then this is the the district so like i could be like okay anything right here this is the main district, which I don't want to do that because I, I really don't mess with districts. But you can have like certain rules for that district. Um, again, I don't really mess with that. I just kind of let it be. And we're going to need more industry or not. More. Let's put this up like right here. Brush. So here's the problem with the brush. I, I kind of get sloppy with it and then I'll forget like a spot or something. This industrial. And now that I am, I thought about, have I forgot anything? I almost did. I got a weird pipes. And what's good about this game, or I don't know about this game, but it what's good about the people in this game is the I don't have to like stretch a whole bunch of power lines. I couldn't think of the name to everywhere because they'll kind of build in a row, so then like the power stretches like as it's doing right now. So kind of watch everybody fill in here. Actually, get rid of this. And I also have a mod that basically automatically. Uh, just get rid of buildings that are abandoned or burnt that, that burnt down which is big help for me as you can see there's people like i need workers i need workers i'm gonna put a school up i'm gonna show you real quick you'll get over it <laughs> You're good for edu edumacation. I don't have universities or high schools yet. So, I think this is really most that we can do for right now. Again, we can keep adding on. And I could probably stretch this road over here and kind of find a way to just do everything. I like how I'm not sticking with, like, the grid effect. And if I have to, I can kind of, like, put a road over here. Like, put one right here. It, again, it's kind of whatever you want to do. Have unlocked it. Unlocked it. Yes, I have unlocked it a roundabout. It's all right. And that's kind of what I wanted to do right here, but it didn't allow me to have it at the beginning, which is kind of sad. But it's all right, I'll, I'll get over it. Mm. I'm going to kind of make this industrial too. You can see I got a little bit sloppy over here. areas oh, I'm gonna wait with this oh my gosh so we're, we're growing really fast holy crap I 
kind of that's really Slices, which don't fill in too quick because I actually have to water in here. You're not going to have water for a short amount of time. And I actually do feel my. Don't do what I do. I have a really sloppy system for getting water to people. A lot of people use grids, so it's like I don't know. It's it's grids and it's nice and I just had a crazy ass lag spike there. But now we are gaining money, we aren't gaining people. And you're thinking, wow, they have a lot of milestones, but once you start getting into the more um the more the higher ones, they don't come as often. But now we can do landscaping so we can add trees and do stuff to the terrain, which I really don't do anything with the terrain. That canals and honestly on this map it kind of looks like there's there's like a place where I could put a canal and then pet van smoking van I would never do a pet van dude that's just too it limits garbage but it that's just just too that's just too bad so then the, when you put also when you put parks in it increases land value so when you do have like a bigger city if you increase the land value it'll push them to build skyscrapers there which I kind of like that the only one I, I push for is recycling and education boost free public transportation it really shouldn't because it gets me more money but then less people will be happy and then they'll leave my city because they're really picky um put this right here how far does that reach it'll reach all the way over here okay then everybody can come over here i thought i just wasted all my money i got so scared i was like holy crap. not much <laughs> Now, the question arises, am I getting too wiggly line like? That's really rough right there, but it's tight. Um, it's kind of doing around here. Here. That's really rough. Bring around there. This will all be residential. Okay, I can kind of do this because any place that is open can be long demand. I'm gonna connect a road right here. Just kind of make things easier for the general public. speed it up let people fill in and there are nobody has kind of any help with hospitals out here how are you looking on garbage from out here I think you still technically reach even though it's kind of not so green anymore and water thanks for reminding me guys that's nice. again this is a very a very sloppy Water work. So I don't think we're gonna have crazy traffic right now, but we can also see where traffic's a little bit heavy, which is not too heavy right here. If it gets super red, then I'll worry about it, but it's not too bad. So here's like the, the orange and kind of this will turn purple. I mean, like as you can see, it's kind of like an orange tint over here, but that'll turn purple at one point, and it looks disgusting, and I don't like it. So I think. That's all we can do in. I was thinking. I'm gonna add. Uh, we might add. 
add some trees here because I don't think I actually lost anything. Wait, look, these. I like these trees. So we're gonna actually. I don't wanna put too much in. So we're gonna fill this in. It's gonna be a nice area. Nice area over here. I like the woods in this game, and I was never able to actually play this game on my old PC because it could run it. Um, but now it runs it like a beauty. I mean, I remember that lag spike earlier, but I am recording, so it's not too friendly. Probably should be checking my FPS uh, often, like the recording FPS. I don't know if it's like in a drop frames or all that fun stuff, so we could fill this all in. And I'm kind of just worried about trees on the residential side here right away. Not really worried. I'm still filling it in anyways, so I don't care. Um, fresh water. Do you not have water? No, you do not. Or you do have water, but you are running out of electricity. So, we're gonna plop one of these bad boys down, even though it's not a... Not in a good place for it. As you can see, we're losing money, which is bad. And this is where it all falls down. Not really. Pray that it doesn't. I'm kind of watching it right now to make sure we don't. Okay, so we're going up. Kind of be kind of stuck at 832. Which is good, because once I do bump up the taxes, people aren't going to be too happy. But... Oh. Mm. Much commercial demand. You can kind of go over right here if you want to, though. All up to you. This is okay, so you guys want water. Probably don't have any. The observation. Industrial is running out of areas to kind of build that, so this isn't a lot more <laughs> considering it's like one block radius, but it's fine. Radius even though it isn't even in a circle. Well, I believe so this is kind of like the town to start off. Sure I might have like little connecting roads or I'll probably like find some roads in here or like some more. Boomtown. There you go. What a great place to, to end the video at. So at this place, we get another square. So we have two squares so far. So we can have the transport, the bus, which I will probably look into next episode. This is the stuff I like, but I'm not. I, I don't know how to use well. And we also got the recycling, the whole intersections and roads, and then we have to worry about a cemetery. Cemetery. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. And then the bus depot is fun as well. And this I haven't actually used yet. So I'm gonna. We haven't even read. We haven't even reached a uh, four thousand. Whatever. So that's actually gonna be the end of this episode. If you enjoyed, press the like button, subscribe if you know. That's all I got. See ya. That's all, folks.